What is up guys, I am back with another review video, and as you can see, it's on the Scarecrow from the Batman Begins movie. Now, one thing about this figure, um, I I got it at uh, Frank and Sons. Um, if you guys uh, saw in my, in my Frank and Sons uh, hunt video, I picked this guy up and I picked up a Clown Thug. And I got a really good deal because uh, actually uh, this figure online, he's going for an, uh, about uh, like 20 bucks. And the fact that I got him in package brand new for 10 bucks, I mean, that, that's a big score. And as cool as this guy is, I mean, I didn't want to open him up without giving you guys a review because, I mean, I just wanted to share with just how cool he is. Um, as you can see, the front of the package, I mean, even the front of the packaging is pretty cool. You got the Dark Knight logo, and of course, uh, Batman. Um, in the back, just a little bio. If you want to pause that and read it, go right ahead. And it's just showing you uh, just some Batman figures that you could find. Um, I was actually uh, looking up this this one, the, the Batman Begins, the chase figure, this ghoul Batman. And he's going for a crazy amount of money, but yeah, I'm not going to pay no, I think he's like going for like a hundred bucks, but yeah, I'm not going to pay for that. And then as you can see, it's uh, from Mattel. And one thing I will see, will say is I wish Mattel was still putting out these kind of kinds of figures because honestly, that DC multiverse line, I'm not, I'm not that big of a fan of it. I, I just think that these movie masters figures that Mattel was putting out is a lot better than what they're putting out now. But I mean, hey, that's just my opinion. Anyways, let's get this figure opened up and reviewed. So here he is out of packaging, and I'm really happy with this figure. It's a great Scarecrow figure. I've actually been wanting to get my hands on a Scarecrow figure for a while now, but you know, it, it's they're kind of expensive if you want to get a good detailed one, especially if you want to get the the figure from the the Batman. Arkham Asylum Scarecrow, or even the Arkham Knight, those those figures are still going for a good like 50 to 60 bucks online, which is insane. And just the fact that I could pick this one up for 10 bucks is, you know, it's awesome. Um, it's a good representation of Scarecrow. I mean, he's got the burlap sack. He's got the noose wrapped around his neck. He's got the straight jacket. I mean, <laughs> just to show that, you know, he's he's basically gone just bat crazy and yeah i mean e even though that uh, at the end of batman begins um scarecrow basically uh, used this at the end you know it's not like he wore it through the whole movie which it would have been cool if he would have or even i don't know just kind of getting off subject i i really wish that they would have used silly and murphy's scarecrow like just in, in another Batman movie, maybe in Arkham Knight, instead of having Bane had Scarecrow as the main antagonist. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, I know that he was at the end, like, he did a little trial scene, but, I mean, that's that's not anything. It just would have been cool if we could have had just a proper, just live-action Scarecrow. I mean, he was in Batman Begins, but again, like... He didn't really become Scarecrow until towards the end of it. We just we, we need a proper live action Batman movie with Scarecrow. I mean, hey, <laughs> in the new um, Injustice game, we have um, Robert England voicing Scarecrow, so that's awesome right there. We just we need more we need more Scarecrow to be honest. Um, he he's an awesome villain. Uh, I would actually rank him up there with Joker. You know, just because uh, of the whole fear toxin game and what what he brought in Arkham Asylum, just those uh, just those missions that you had to do with uh, Scarecrow when you go into um, those uh, stupors when you get drugged, and then you have to fight your way through just all that bizarre, just all that bizarre stuff. That it was just cool how they implemented it. I just wish they would do a lot more of it. Anyways, <laughs> back to the figure. So, like I said. He's got the burlap sack and the noose just wrapped around his, basically his neck. And then just the details that they added to him, it's really, let me just get more light on him. Really awesome how they did it. 
So as you can see, he's got the straight jacket, just the dirty, worn straight jacket. They even added like some some pink right here. Just to show that it's just a, a, a nasty, dirty straight jacket. Maybe uh, someone got blood on it. And then I like how they did the back. So it's buttoned up the, the two buckles, and then the rest is left open. So you can see his the bottom, you know, his, his pants. And then uh, his shirt. So that's just, it's really cool how they did this. Then you open it up and, again, just the, the pants suit. You know, his pants and his buttoned up shirt. His white buttoned up shirt, which is really awesome. And if you look at the sack more, you can see his hair just sticking out. It's really amazing, and even the stitching they did. There we go. Just a really detailed figure. <laughs> I'm just in marvel of just how how awesome this I, I didn't think I would like this figure as much as I do But yeah, I mean I saw this at Frankenstein's and I had to get it and what and what's cool just um, kind of off subject, but They actually had um, two of these scarecrows uh, One the box was kind of damaged which what you saw and then uh, one was like in perfect shape You know basically for collectors. Well, I mean I'm a collector, but I, I prefer my stuff to be an uh, open box like this, just so I, just so you can enjoy the figure more. But anyways, um, he wanted basically 20 for the good box and then 10 for the damaged box. So <laughs> go figure, right? I mean, I, I was talking with the guy for a bit and then um, he's like, oh, you know what? I'll just, I'll sell you this damaged box one for 10 bucks. So, hey, I mean, that's what happens when uh, when you talk to people just... You know, be real cool with them, and then you'll end up uh, getting good deals on stuff. And anyways, um, his hand, his uh, his hands inside the the sleeve can kind of it can move, but again, it's kind of hindered by the sleeve. Um, it's kind of a hard plastic right here, so you can move the hands a little bit. And because this didn't come with any accessories, uh, I actually uh, have this vial from... Uh, I actually took this off of a Breaking Bad figure. You can kind of fit it into his hand. So act like he's going to throw down like some fear toxin or whatever. <laughs> hey, it works. He did come with like this burlap sack head, which basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it inside this evidence bag that they provided, which in my opinion, I think it's really stupid. I think they should have uh, given something else besides this. So you just open the bag up. Put the sack head in, close it up. It is what it is. I'm ma I'm mainly gonna throw probably throw the bag away. I don't I don't care about it. And you can just use this as like a backdrop. And that's how it was with uh, the clown thug that I got. No accessories. It just came with the bag and a clown mask. But again, you can use it as a backdrop for you know if you want to take um, ACBA pictures. So, that will about... Oh, um, before I wrap this up, uh, I'll just mention like how his legs are. His legs can go to the sides as much as they can, but again, because the, um, the straight jacket is right here, you can't really move his legs out that much, but you can do it. And then his legs do go out a good amount. And then his leg has a swivel right there. 
No double jointed legs. But again, with Scarecrow, I mean, you're not really going to get him into that many crazy pose. Mainly like something like this. And then uh, no arm swivel for some weird reason. So yeah, you know, just get him into whatever pose. Well, mainly like that, like, he's got the vial up, he's going to throw it down. <laughs> so yeah, just a, just amazing. Just an amazing figure. If you're into Scarecrow and you want a good one, you know, you, you can you can pick them up online for about 15 bucks. Again, I went to Frankenstein's and I got them for 10 Maybe you might get lucky and find him for 10 online. But he's less expensive than the Arkham Asylum one and the Arkham Knight one. So I would definitely recommend this figure. So as always, I end this video with thank you for watching. I, I appreciate every single one of you. I, I respond to you guys uh, as quickly as I can. And if you're if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you if you like, leave a like comment, you know, leave a like comment. And I will see you guys in the next video.